What's up everybody, welcome back to 3 Floating Fight Night. Today we are coming to you from Cincinnati right after the very exciting release of Dust Till Dawn and the Cincinnati Battle Hardened. Today we have a super, super special guest on a very demonic hero of old, shall we say, who has become a demi-hero of new. This fight night of classic constructed gameplay is going to be between Sam on Bolton. I'm not the special guest. And Mansat on Mavaya. Oh, I am the special guest. <laughs> Let's get right into this classic constructed game! Yeah. Guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We've got some details about an unbelievable flesh and blood event happening in Columbus, Ohio at the very beginning of December, brought to you by the Realm Games. I'm gonna give you a little secret, uh, some secret information that's not out there. It is out there, but there's some secret information. It's a $20,000 invitational tournament attached to a $10,000 open tournament, you can just show up and try to win $10,000, and then there's a $5,000 open tournament on the third day, so it's going to be a ridiculous weekend, so make sure you stick around, we're going to talk about it and sign up, we'll see you soon, watch the game, time for the game, let's do it! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody, I am back and playing Sir Bolton. Breaker of Dawn. We gotta round out all the Dust Till Dawn heroes. We've seen Vincent, we've seen Prison. I'm bringing you Bolton, but we got a true master on the show today. Hi everybody, I am Ethan Mansant Vansant, and I've been summoned to bring you some Leviah, Leviah, and even more Leviah gameplay. The deck I'm playing today is a Blood Rush Claws build. It's the one very similar to the recent top eight by Pat Eschke at Battle Hardened Cincinnati. It's a deck that's very powerful. It's got a lot of big hitting attacks, a little bit gated by power cards like Art of War and Blood Rush, but overall, I'm trying to just slog giant overstatted minions like Endless Maw and Dread Screamer at my opponent until I close the game with a pretty strong flip into one of these suckers with maybe Reckless Swing or Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell to help close the game. Now I'm super excited to play Leviah in Dust Till Dawn because obviously she got tons of support, which is a, a huge boon across the board. Uh, she not only became a new demi hero that adds a lot to kind of her late game potential, but there's been a few injections of power cards as well that make the deck just sing a little more beautifully than it did previously. And that's what I'm all about. After putting so many years in this hero, I just want the damn thing to work. And now it does, so that counts me as a happy boy. This deck got a lot of new tools in Dust Till Dawn. The Bannerets are super interesting because when you charge them to your soul as a result of any of your other cards, they actually get you incremental value. We have to shout out Alan Chavarin, the unbelievable architect of the Crayon Leviah that you might remember from the last Pro Tour, but also a local of ours. He helped us out uh, coming together with this Raiden list. We'll link it in the description and also make sure you check out his unbelievable website, eyeofaphidia.net. You can literally find any recorded or streamed game of professional flesh and blood that has ever happened. You gotta check it out. It's an unbelievable resource. So thank you to Alan two times. Bolton is a hero from the original Monarch set, like Leviah, but got some great new support. I'm gonna want to charge cards to my soul to get some extra benefits. Bolton, once I've done so, can give those cards go again as long as their attack's a little stronger. I do feel like because of the charge mechanic, taking extra cards from my hand, I've gotta kinda pick and choose my times to be aggressive. Otherwise, I need to preserve life because I've watched Ethan stream for years and Leviah can just go nuts and a single blood rush can just end the game out of nowhere if you've taken too much life to begin so gotta pick and choose my times utilize my resources correctly and get this w i'm a stone cold killer sam you're a cone stole Can't cone stole yep ice cream's so good <laughs> <laughs> I, I should stick to that you know what i gotta tell you something i think this is gonna be one of our biggest episodes ever absolutely you wanna know why well because i'm here no because i'm playing bolton oh oh yeah. yes, yes i think the people really want to see me sam O'Byrne, play bolton i don't really know if you have any association with whatever you're working with over here but they know me as the bolton the bolton guy out there in the internet <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. You're, you're one of my good friends and my occasional boss, and we've been talking about this for a long time. We're gonna have some fun today, okay? Beating you up. Eating you for breakfast. Hey. I ain't eating yet. And you're right here. I had not eaten mm. yet. Well, you didn't eat breakfast? We, I bought you breakfast. You're lying for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with it, show me what you got. High roll? High roll. Right. Two sixes. Ooh, the most classic of numbers. Oh my lord. You wanna talk uh, about two swap sixes? Decks. Swap decks. Do you wanna talk about two sixes? <laughs> I have no idea if I should go first. I'm gonna go first. Wait, I want to charge my soul. What am I talking about? Yeah. Definitely go first. Yeah, definitely attack me. Let me block with my whole hand. I'll allow it. That is probably what he's gonna do. Well, then just don't attack me. But I need okay. to charge. charge. So do I go second? Oh, you said first. No, but help me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am gonna let you go first. I think you are correct. Thank you. Gracious. But let's have a good one. Yeah. Have fun. 
Okay, taking the play. I shall attack with Diabolic Offering, pitch for zero. Uh, sh sh yeah, I mean, no blocks. Reactions? No, no reactions. Pass. Okay. <laughs> I will move to Arsenal. Yeah, you got it. So generally, Levi actually likes going first if you're on a more mid-range build because a lot of your cards are still gated by needing to banish three. And you obviously can't really get that going at the beginning of the game because your graveyard, there's nothing in it. If you go second and your opponent on their first turn just arsenal passes, you can be stuck with pretty much a do-nothing turn. And since your weapon's not very powerful by itself, if you go second and just pitch a card into claw and arsenal, that was a terrible going second. Just get a card in graveyard if you can, get an arsenal and set yourself up. My tunic goes to one. I'm going to play Beaming Bravado <laughs> as an additional cost to play this. I may go ahead, I may go ahead and charge my Hero Soul, which I will. I'm gonna, instead of putting it back here because it's gonna get messy, put it over here. Smart man. Uh, so my soul count currently one. This is coming in for three. I have charged a red card. I have not charged a yellow card. So this is just a, as you said, two card three. You're not charging a yellow? No. That was a choice you made? Well, I might, maybe I don't have one. Maybe you don't have one. That's true, that's true. I'm gonna trust my deck. I'll say no blocks. I do have a reaction. You do have a reaction? Yeah. It's just a yellow courageous steel hand. It's a light warrior attack reaction. It's gonna bump it up by two, so this is just coming in for five. Gotcha. Three card five for you. Woo, baby. That is it for me. I will take your three card five all the way down to a painful 35. Alrighty, that is the end of my turn. I'll pass to you. And now I will draw. Your turn. All right, I'm gonna trust the deck, like I said. Yep. Lead with Art of War, pitch Woo. yellow. I will say, go again, and banish to draw. You hit me with the two twin swing bigs? We'll see, that play is quite nice. You hit me with at least one. I will banish this guy. Draw two, one, two. So that first turn was a little weird because my hand really wanted to play greedy. It was an art of war hand, but my graveyard wanted me to play safe because it was a singular card. I decided to trust the deck a little bit because I actively want to go for the art of war plays because it digs you further towards your other power cards like Blood Rush and Art of War. All right, I trusted the deck, it paid off. Blood Debt, one. Let's come in with Mark of the Beast for six, go again. Hmm. I do feel like I want to use again all of my cards. I feel like Bol what did Bol what did Bolton was France? I I believe it. Bolton. <laughs> Bolton. Bolton. Uh, breaker Mr. Breaker of, of Doom. Yes. <laughs> Raiden does ball. There's three. Oh, that looked very easy. Well, well done. Well done. Uh, take three. Take three. One, two, three. Go again. Claw. Four, three. Uh, I, if this doesn't have go again, I guess no blocks. No reaction? Sounds good. One, Nothing. two, three. That'll put me to 34. End of the chain banishes to blood debt. Clean up. Pass. Okay. Okay, draw three. One, two, three. All right, tunic goes to two. We're going to go ahead and attack with a take flight. Pretty good. Pitching a beacon of victory. I'm going to charge a banneret of courage! Uh, soul Flare! When this is charged to my hero's soul, I get to create a courage token. Please Wham. bring me a courage token. I have not seen that sucker yet. When a uh, courage token has a guy that looks like this, <laughs> when you play an attack action card or activate a weapon attack, destroy this and the attack gets plus one. So I have now created a courage token. My next sword swing will be coming in for an additional one because I do have already the go again. This is coming in for four. Sounds like you'll almost be attacking for a good rate this turn. Dude, I'm actually going to be bad. close to it, yeah. yeah bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead block with an attack action for three. So what you're saying is... Uh, I'm giving you a free damage. So you're, you're saying welcome. it's... So because Bolton says, because if you've charged this turn, your attacks get plus one while defended by an attack action card. So look at that, I'm going to get a little extra damage. See, I'm a friendly boss. You're friendly well, boss. Here's your rate. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, well, here's I have... <laughs> That's very good. Well, I have a um, complaint, I suppose, in the form of an attack mm. reaction. I'm gonna play out another beacon of victory. I'm gonna banish just one card from my soul. Uh, so it's going to get an additional plus one to six, and I'm going to search my deck for an action card with cost X or less, reveal it, put it into my hand, then shuffle my deck. Put it into my hand, that's a little unfortunate. The card I'm grabbing is the Spirit of Irina, which is going to turn my Luminous Engines into instants. How do you say Irina in French? Irina. Buy it. Okay. <laughs> uh, good. I'll take three. Yes. Down to 32. Okay. Now, uh, um, I am going to spend a resource on my Iron Song versus another new card from Dust Till Dawn. My next sword attack this turn gains, when this hits a hero, create a courage token. So, I'm going to attack 
with Raiden Duskbane. I have charged this turn, so it gets plus three. That's going to break the Courage token, which means instead of three damage, it's coming in for four damage, and the Courage is gone. But because of the Iron Song versus, if it hits, I'm gonna make another Courage token. Oh my God, all that for four damage. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> so where's the soul of Varenia right now? It is in your hand? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you could. Do I get enough payoff here to make you park that in Arsenal? Yeah. All right, an early play for an early play. I'm going to block for five. Wow. Now this does a little thing, that's pretty cool. You might recognize it because of your playmat here. It's yeah. a very brutish mechanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna intimidate the soul of Arenia with Scowling Flesh Bag out of your hand. <laughs> Off the board, eh? Off the board, out of your hand, face down. Blocking within attack action card for five total to block out your five. Any reactions? Uh, yeah, I'm going to activate Bolton. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please do, please do, Sam. <laughs> So wait, so the Scowling Flesh Bag, if you're gonna intimidate my card in my hand, you have to scowl at me in, intim in an intimidating enough way that I actually get intimidated. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I was gonna do a hair flip. Is that intimidating? You, it's, you tell me. Ooh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <no>. shit! <laughs> I am quaking. Okay. Um, uh, but no, that's no reactions for me. You've got it. Flesh Bag achieved. I'm gonna move to the end of my turn. My Spirit of Arena is going to return to my hand and I am just gonna park it in the arsenal and then I'll pass the turn. So this turn is where I actually need to commit to slowing down a little bit and filling up my graveyard because I took a bit of an awkward early game by banishing a blood debt card with Art of War and then even banishing the Mark the Beast to now sit at two blood debt in a really early phase of the game. So I need to find a hand that blocks well. So I'm taking this turn in my head already, no matter what Sam's doing, even if it's inefficient for me, I need to block. I feel like because I'm gonna be blocking a lot in this game anyway to kind of preserve my life total so I don't just die to Ethan's spike turn, there'll probably be a turn where I can block Lock with my whole hand, have this spirit in my arsenal, and then just play it out and move on with my life. So when he goes for the Scowling Flesh Bag, I'm actually kind of stoked because I wasn't planning on playing it on this turn anyway. If he's gonna use his card to intimidate it here, that is fine by me. Was that good? Well, we'll find out in this early banish because we do have a little problem here. I need to banish three as a cost, and there are one, a two, a three misses, and two hits. Now check this out. I learned a little something from Michael Hamilton this weekend mm. on how to uh, banish from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. Pretty slick. Yeah. So we'll lay it out. Endless Maw is looking to banish three cards. If it hits a six, not only will Blood Debt be off, but this will gain plus three from six to nine. So we got to banish these three. I'll roll three dice, mm -hmm. re-roll sixes, mm -hmm. one through five to pull. One, mm -hmm. three, five. Out of here. Michael Hamilton, props to you, my friend. That's actually pretty sick way to do it. <laughs> okay, so a couple things happen. Blood Debt goes to four. Endless Maw comes in for nine. And Blood Debt is off. Not bad, not, not bad. bad. But we've got one, nine two, three, four Blood Debt. I will block three of it. Reactions? No reactions. Take six. One, and two, three, four, five, six. Pass. Going down to 28. All right, draw back. Tunic to three. Tunic uh, immediately being popped. Yes, sir. Gain a good stuff. Gain a resource. I had a take flight. Well. Charge my soul with another red resounding courage. That's pretty much the exact kind of card you need to play around how much I slowed you down with that scowling fleshback play. <laughs> well, you know, my hand ain't half bad either there, friend. We will say no blocks. I'm glad I have courageous steel hand. I have charged. The attack gets plus three, goes up to seven. Okay, so a three card seven that costs you tunic. Yep. Not bad. Come on now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down to 25. Okay. Raiding the Dusk Bane. Yeah, no, that ain't half bad either. Coming in for three. That, that kind of equates it, right? So three, I will say no blocks still. I will actually do, I totally need a reaction. I'm gonna activate Bolton. I'm gonna banish a card from my soul to give it go again because its power is greater than its base. Absolutely. I'll take the three, down to 22. And then now I will play the Spirit of Arena. We'll see if it matters. I will pass the turn. 
So once again, save a little life here if I can. Because my tunic is up, I can come in with this take flight without committing an entire card, so I don't have to go pitch a card, take flight, lose a card to my soul. I can just come in with the take flight and charge on the turn. And I get to charge one of these cool new cards from Dusk Till Dawn in the Banneret of Courage, which is gonna create me a Courage token. Fantastic. So my Raiden here is now gonna come in for four instead of three. Zero for four stapled onto the weapon. Love it. Do want to give it a go again here and develop the spirit because I have the opportunity to. I'm going to still be left with the card in my soul anyway. I know I want to preserve soul in this game, but I think if I can find another V of the Vanguard, I'll be able to charge it up to the big leagues. Big time. A lot of soul. You know what I'm saying. All right, I got a five card grip here, Sam. I five see it, card and I'm afraid of it. But you developed a spirit. We'll see which one takes the cake. All right, lead with a pulping. Pitch blue. A little bit of RNG left to this play. It is going to come in for six. I will draw though, yeah. and then discard a card. If it discards a six, it will gain Dominate. If you then don't block with two real cards, it will have Go Again. It's the largest text block, text block on any... It's the largest text box <laughs> on any Brute card. Wow! Well, until this girl, but here we go. Uh, one, two, three. Are there any misses? Why would I tell you that? <laughs> Why would I tell you that? For, the, for suspense reasons, yes, there are two misses. <laughs> two, four, six. Six. Let's see it. Flip it. It's a hit. This will gain dominate. That's tough. Gonna block three. Okay, no reactions. Taking three, two, three, go to 25. Yeah, you know, a little light on resources in the end here. Feels pretty bad, but seeing you block gives me hope. Um, mm -mm -mm. I will close the chain. Levi mechanics on display. Going to pitch. Red Screamer. This guy comes in for base six, is looking to banish three for go again. And there's only two misses anyway, so it will have go again. We're hitting. One through five, reroll six. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's see it again. Uh, yep, those are all different numbers. Two, four, five. That is one hit, two misses, blood dead up to six. It is off. That has go again. All right, I'm gonna block six with a charge of the Light Brigade and a Bolt of Courage. Not half bad, I will say uh, pass to Arsene. You got it. Cool. Blood Debt is off for this turn because of Leviathan, and I will draw back to four. So I had a bit of an awkward hand uh, because first of all, Pulping is a non-block card, so it kind of forces you into playing it. And on top of that, it adds variance to your turn because you don't know what it's gonna draw and discard. But Sam didn't have an arsenal, so at least I was pretty sure that the go again part of it would be active since he couldn't have a defense reaction there to stop the go again. Unfortunately, with the draw discard, I didn't find any new resources. So I was put in a spot to use cards inefficiently, but I was still able to throw the Pulping into a Dread Screamer to turn off Blood Debt, but I didn't end up using the go again from Dread Screamer. So a bit of a value loss, but it was still a four card 12 and I reset Arsenal and we just moved on. Didn't take the blood at damage. It's what I wanted on the turn. My turn is going to begin with an energy counter in my find all spring tunic. I'm going to survey the board. Oh, yes. I'm going to survey my opponent. Pass. Oh, what are you, what are you looking at here? <laughs> looking at your, looking at your cool shirt. Where can we get that shirt? That's true. Mansant.shop. You can find all your Levi goodies like this play mat. No way. In touch tips with Levi right here. Ooh. Any game you want. Uh, and you find shirts like these. Check it out. How many of those shirts do you have in stock? You're, you're running out, right? Oh yeah, we're, we're running real low. <laughs> Buy the last one right now. <laughs> we're definitely not overstocked. <laughs> yes, yes. We will play smart. Okay. Dread Screamer coming in. Pitching a Diabolic Offering. Yep. We'll banish these three exactly. Blood Dead off. Go again. Coming in for six. Blood Dead up to seven. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think too hard. Half the text box on your card just says charge or soul flare. You know, it takes up a lot of space. You want some copy right yes, yeah, I would. Sure. Let's do it. I feel like my turns are significantly worse if I block with like two cards and try to present a couple cards worth of damage because I most of the time need a card to pitch, a card to play, and a card to park in my soul to do anything of any merit or value. So I feel like if I'm going to block on a turn, I want to block early so I can just make sure I didn't take damage to do something lame. This Dread Screamer here has go again. I don't know what the rest of the turn looks like, but I kind of decide, even though I can present like 13 or so damage using these cards, it's not like that is going to get me over the finish line. So I'm going to block this Dread Screamer and see what happens from here. There's six. Scabs. Okay. I've been waiting because this for me, this is a big determinant. Scabskins. Oh, 
Best car in the game! <laughs> Seven. Seven. Anytime! <laughs> Uh, another action point remaining, just FYI. Oh my god. There's five. Oh, eat it, son. One, two, no yeah, blocks, going to 23. Tell, you know what else is coming? What? Are you ready for this? It's Fang Bang. <laughs> it's Fang Bang. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who's glad he blocked? Who? <laughs> Sam's glad he blocked. Imagine if I was just like, <laughs> holding my five card 13. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> you want to do the math? Okay, so eight, seven, 15, 21 damage. That's like actually better than a blood rushing. Swing big, good card. You feel good about yourself, feeling real strong. You know why I feel so good? I haven't seen a blood rush yet. You know what's coming? Blood a blood rush. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going down to 15. Yes, okay, pass turn. No blood debt, draw. So Sam takes an off turn, which is always a bit scary as both players on the table there, because when Leviah has a lot of cards, it normally means you're forced into a Scabskin's turn. She doesn't have a lot of go again in the deck, but when you're given free cards, you might as well try to use them with an extra action point. I personally really hate rolling this card, uh, but it has payoff that you absolutely can't ignore. And I had a bit of a safety net that I'm able to lead out with my Banisher first. I hit another Dread Screamer, clears the blood debt that I'm gonna have for the turn, and then I'm able to play a bit more adaptive. I've got the line where I can just pitch the Graveling Growl I have in hand to just swing big and have a pretty decent 14 damage trade. Arsenal and Ardivore, which is a really good card, or I roll Scabs. If Scabs hits, then I can just drop the Graveling right then and there and the swing big. So Scabs didn't need to hit for me to have a good turn, but that's what it can unlock for Leviah, right? You gave me the freedom to have this choice, Whereas if I'm under pressure, I don't actively want to keep hands for that Scabskin's choice. That's where you can potentially just throw a game. Tunic pass. Oh, great turn. It's a great turn. All right, let's see it though. This is still a big question mark. Ooh. Mm. I didn't know your eyebrow went up that high. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, Scabskin's. Hit me with it. Whoa, baby! Come on now! Come on now! Oh! <laughs> See ya! That's three action Let's points. Let's go! Fuck! That's actually not so because we can use it. Nah, I trust the deck. I trust the deck. Mandible Claw? Yeah. Three. Spending an action point, which I have a superfluous. Wait, which I have a. Uh, superfluous amount of it? Is that what you say, superfluous? superfluous? Which I have a superfluous yeah. amount of there, Sam. Two left still, two left. No blocks on this one. Okay. One, two, three to 12. Honestly, lucky for you, I can use the six, but it's nothing for too crazy here. Three again, one action point left. One, two, three, go to nine. Ooh. Well, now that changes things. Do I give up the arsenal to present lethal? Lethal? <laughs> Two card hand present lethal? Fuck me! <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I will do it then. You know, it does It does just work out. We'll come in for nine. Uh, because there are no misses in the graveyard here, so uh, let's just get this out of the way. D4, the one I roll will stay, the other will banish. One yeah. through four. Two will stay. Yeah. These will banish, that is one more blood debt up to eight. This gains the plus three to nine, blood debt is then off. And lethal is on the table, just well, casually, uh, off the back of a six. I think I'm gonna give you those. Block five, take four, no sink. One, two, three, four, go to five. Okay, pass it back. So we have momentum from the last scabs, and what that does is give us a large hand. Again, what is a large hand? Another scabs hand. So we go ahead, we roll the die, and it's a one. But at this point in the game, I actually don't mind the gambler's gloves being burned because it fills graveyard. So we burn it into a six. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, a, a momentous turn last turn, I can now present lethal with a claw, claw, endless mob play and make Sam fight for this hand that he's obviously been trying to set up with a tunic three. Great, great position to be in. Damn. Okay, I will draw it up, take a casual glance at the life totals, pat myself on the back, <laughs> and it's your go. I have an idea. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play. 
Is that supposed to scare me? I'm at 22 cents. Via the bank card. <laughs> it's the Bolton card. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. You're right. You're right. As an additional cost to play V of the Vanguard, I may charge my sword any any number of times. I chose one. Felt good. Attacks that I control upon this combat chain are gonna get plus one for each light card that I have charged this way. I charged a single light card. Sure. In a take flight. So plus one across the board. How many cards in hand right now? Uh, two in hand. Two in hand, eh? Yep. I'll block three. Okay. But it's an attack. <gasps> Just gonna go to five? Yes, sir. Because of Bolton? No reactions. Oh, I no, have sorry. You, I, you react I, dude, first I anyway. totally have a reaction. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I said no react, so we skip that step. No, no. Angle uh, shooting? Man. You ready? Oh, is it a real? Oh, it's a react again? Luminescent. Oh. I'm going to play it at instant speed. This is a good combo. In the reaction step. Correct. Because of the spirit of arena, I can play it at instant speed, which is going to give me an action point upon the resolution of this attack. Uh, Lumina Ascension is a light warrior action until the end of turn. It's a Bolton specialization. Weapons that I control get plus one, and if this hits, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a light card, you may put it into your hero soul and gain one life, otherwise put it on the bottom of your deck. And if I've charged this turn, I may attack an additional time with each weapon I control. That's the good card. You got two good cards in one turn. So, uh, take two. Down to 20. I'm gonna spend my one floating, and I'm going to attack you with a Valiant Thrust. It is, it is the Valiant. It, I have charged this turn, so it's coming in for plus three because of the... Via the Vanguard, it's coming in for an additional plus one. Here's eight. Okay, so I can take six more this turn to do what I want to do. So we're in a really good spot here because Sam has fought tooth and nail for his big push turn, but now Levia has several new aces up her sleeve. It's not just Husk being able to pivot, it's the ability to fight for a new life threshold with real payoff. So this entire turn cycle that Sam is really fighting for is actually playing into my game now. I want to hit 14 life, I want to flip. So I look at my hand, decide that this is where I have opportunity to basically affix my life total to exactly what's going to win me the game with this Plasma Fet Levi Consume Flip, and it's about making sure I don't misblock the entirety of the combat chain to make it happen. All right, I've done the math, Sam, mm -hmm. and I'm going to school you this turn. So ready? <laughs> Scabskins. Yep. Block. Two. Reactions. Uh, I am going to go ahead and activate my Snapdragon Scalers. I'm going to give it a go again. So I'm taking six. Taking six. Down to what number, Sam? Number fourteen. That seems like a good number. Seems good to me. Um, then this is going to be Raiden the Duskbane because of V of the Vanguard and my Lumina Ascension. It's coming in for five. I'm going to give you another raise here today. Make it six. Those are attack actions. I will activate Bolton's ability. Banish a card from my soul. Goodbye, take flight. And then I will attack you once more. Coming in for another five. I'd like Raiden to say hello to... This little friend here. Harry and Husk, yeah. And uh, block out. Alrighty. No hits, or no hits on the weapon, so no Lumina Ascension triggers. Turn goes to you. Sweet, clean up. Uh, okay, up to nine blood out right here. We've got a pretty cool play coming. I'm just going to take a measly old claw swing at you. Uh, and then, in theory, take nine blood dead. Unless something else is coming, Sam. Block three. All right, you ready? Are you ready, ready though? Like, did you oh. sacrifice a rabbit this morning ready? I am ready to see it. Show me what you got. So the turn's gonna end here. Mm -hmm. End step. I'm gonna take my blood debt, since I did not turn off the visibility. I'm gonna take one blood debt, down to 13. And I'm gonna trigger this little old card. Little old lady. Blasma Fett, Levia, Consumed. Right at 13, upon taking blood debt, I may transform into this baby. Yeah. Literally get my soul yeah. Turn into Blasma Pause. Fett. Pause? Just a funny phrasing. Oh. Wait, what'd I say? <laughs> you got your soul. Well, that's what happens. Sure. Oh, okay. Get okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your soul gets consumed. Mm -hmm. Let's rephrase. Into Blasma Fett here. Now, the rest of the blood that I will be taking instead banishes cards face down in lieu of taking the damage. And then I'm gonna continue on with my life with this additional ability of once per turn being able to play out one of my blood debt cards. Uh, so actually, I still have nine. I was just tracking the damage. 
So flipping to Plasma Pet Levi Consumed when you have blood debt that's as high as 9 already is a bit of a problem when you're starting to account for the potential to fatigue. You're going to be banishing so many cards face down that you will inevitably deck out before you can play out all your cards. But in these aggro matchups, all I'm trying to do to win the game is, especially at this point, play a Blood Rush turn. And Blasm Vet Levi Consumed gives me a a pool of attacks, you know, guaranteed red attacks that I want to play to end the wide Blood Rush turns that I'm already going for. So in an aggro matchup like this, all I'm trying to do, hit Consumed, find a Blood Rush, and the game will just be over before I deck. I need to do eight banishes now. One. Oh no, so close. Blasmo could have seen himself. Two. Blood Rush. Uh, three. Blood Rush. Uh, four. Blood Rush. Uh, five. Six, Please. seven, Blood that's pretty good. Eight, okay, you got one. Uh, these all then go face down. Nothing left to do with them. Put them under here. And like two uh, turns that's it. You're gonna see that. Play the Courage Champion, I can block my hey, Courage yeah. Champion. Sam? What's up, man? I just have some like weird news. I, I don't know, there's a new roommate coming. Um, he needed a place to stay. He was sending me some like really weird messages. Like, uh, what kind of messages? I don't know, some of the text was changing. Cool, uh, when's he gonna be here? Hey. You need the guy that called about a room? Yes. Okay, yeah, come in. So, Ethan's been here for a couple weeks now. I keep finding rabbit's blood in the Vitamix, which... Not chill. He's defrosting all of our food? How, how long is What is it? We, uh, yeah, uh, Ethan, what are you doing in there, man? <laughs> yeah, we could, we could turn on the AC. <laughs> yeah, for sure. When he got here, I was stoked, you know, like, I heard he's a really good Flesh and Blood player, but there's something about the whole energy, and it's just, it's just, like, disconcerting, and he takes a long time to fucking shower, and the noises in there are pretty, um... Yo, Ethan, it's been, like, seven hours, and for six of the hours, you were repeating the same words in Latin over and over again. <laughs> I just need to pee. Sometimes, you know, he just like lurks. What do you mean lurks? Lurks, dude. Jesus. Sam, I can't find Ethan. Hey, Matt. Um, we gotta get him out of here, dude. Okay, I have an idea. This door wasn't here before Ethan got here, so I think if he's down there, I have an idea. Okay? No, dude. Ethan, buddy, you down here? Bro, that's the death door. No, it's not. That's the death door. Ethan? Um, <laughs> listen, I had this opportunity fall into my lap that I thought you really uh, kind of did. There's this tournament in Ohio. The Realm Games is putting it on. Um, it's a twenty thousand dollar invitational, but there's a tournament. But, but there's a there's a ten thousand dollar open tournament as well. You can go to their website to sign up, and if you sign up, you can win. Literally, there's like um, there's like there's gonna be a cosplay contest. Oh, please don't beat me. You know what? He was actually kind of chilling. Drop. One, two, three, four. You want to see a blood or shan, Sam? I want to see a blood or shan. Not quite there. Not quite. Okay. So, I am going to hit you with a blue take flight, pitching and oops, pitching an engulfing light, charging. Oh. A banneret of courage. It's got soul flare. When this is charged to my hero's soul, I'm creating a courage token again. Um. I don't think you need to do that. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, okay. 
1, 2 to 12, 2, 11. Activate my Iron Song versus. I'm going to the next sword attack that hits this turn is going to create a Courage token. So when I attack with my Radiant Duskbane, you. if it hits, I'm going to pop my Courage token. So uh, my attack is going to get plus one from the Courage. And if this Radiant for four hits, I'm creating a whole second Courage token. And that's two Courage tokens more than I had last turn. So how's that feel? Man, Sant. No, it actually it's it's brushing off, Sam. Let's be real. It's brushing right <laughs> off. It's brushing right off. Okay. No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. I'm no not reactions. Scared, I'm not no reactions. You know what One, that's gonna do? Two, three, four. You fool! I'm getting another courage token. Pass. Uh, unless I'm threatening lethal, I feel like Ethan is just—he has enough of a life lead and he has life to work with. He's gonna be able to take this damage and present probably some bigger numbers. So I might have to try to stay alive long enough to deck him out to the, his own effect. So it might be time for a pivot in the game plan. Off three cards, I'm gonna deal 15 this turn. Well, I'll just be upfront about it. Okay. So, so you expect it? Uh, Dread Screamer is going to come in from hand for six. It's going to hit the banish because there aren't that many. Misses, I think zero right now, actually. We done we done good. We'll do the, the rolling thing that Michael Hamilton taught us. We roll six. One, three, four. Oh my god, that's actually so beautiful. Michael Hamilton, I love you. These go down here. This comes in for six go again. Can't do anything about Block it. Block six. I will close the chain. Leviathan mechanics on display. Show me these mechanics. Uh, I'm going to trigger Blasmafet to play out an endless maw oh, here. Right. I'm so fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. have that extra agree, hand. Agree, agree, agree. Oh my God. I'm chain until I deck out, basically. Uh, endless maw then banishes these three. They go face down. It comes in for nine. And uh, then I even get to arsenal a card. Look at that. That's crazy, dog. It must feel good to be you. Um, <laughs> Feels good to be plasma fed these days. Leviah, Blasmo. Seven. Yes. Yep, take two. Going to three. No, that's not reckless range. Well done. All right, uh, a couple things before Arsenal, before all this. We're going to go ahead and resolve the Banish ability here. Instead of taking Blood Debt, which I'd prefer, because otherwise I'd die, you know. One, two, three, blood. four. Blood. Yes! Five. I thought that was a Blood Rage. <laughs> six. Seven. Yep. Eight. Ooh. We've gotten two of them! There's still one left. We've gotten two of them! These go away. I Arsenal. See the thing, but the thing about this, this the, the thing about this is, I'm like, oh, I hope he draws a hand that's not very good, but he has like all these other cards he can just play right now. That's crazy. Well, I am on a clock. I mean, my deck disappears in like two turns. So if all three blood rushes go, like, it is a, I mean, you're at three. So maybe it's not that bad, but yeah, uh, that's the potential lose con, right? Actually, this hand's pretty bad too. So we'll see. <laughs> okay. Why <laughs> oh, am I talking? Uh, let's play the game. You guys hearing this? <laughs> What's your turn? Pass! It's my turn. Oh, you don't want to swing Radiant for zero? No, it would be for one because of my Courage token. Oh, true. Yeah, don't waste that. Smart play, Sam. Pass to you. you. I, at least I stayed out of Reckless range. Still doing it right. Okay, okay. I'm going to lead with a Pulping. I'm going to draw. Then discard. One through four. Four will discard. Ooh, pretty good one for you. It will come in for six dominate in that case. Pop the and tunic. And guarantee the go again. Gotta give the tunic here. Uh, if I don't give the tunic, I'm dead. But I'm able to float a resource, so let's see how we can put that to use. Pop the tunic. Yes, yes. Float the resource for no fucking reason. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and block with this red valiant thrust that's doing nothing for me. I'm gonna go to one, take two. Go to one. Reckless swing is now a lot. I banished one though. I banished one time. Oh, the, did the you? one might go too. Oh no! Oh, golly gee, what's gonna happen then, Ethan? If I look, let me tell you, Sam. Let, let me be frank. Let me be frank. If I mill the last Art of War, the last Reckless, and the last Blood Rush, I actually do lose. So, let's just yeah, reality check. Don't, I can't get too cocky here. I was early game. Now I'm a little sweating. I apologize for the roller coaster of emotions this has been. <laughs> But that's playing Leviathan. Uh, we're going to pitch double red. Uh, we're going to play this out of the Banish Zone with Blasmafet's ability here, coming in for six. Here is six block. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, we're going to go to pass turn. Okay. This rebanishes and goes face down. This goes to graveyard. Uh, this will be arsenal. This will be pitch. We've got to resolve Blasmo. One. You know what? I'm going to look in your eyes. And, you're, okay. and with your reactions, okay. I'm going to know if I banish Blood Rush or okay. not. Two. 
three. <laughs> you just winked at me, what does that mean? Four. Five. Damn it, I peaked. Six. Yeah, okay. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Blood Russian reckless guy. Okay. <laughs> that was five. Wait, how? Oh, is it seven? One, uh, one, one two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. six. Alright, work. Ah! Okay. Alright, so zero blood rush. Hey, bro, zero blood rush. That's fine, that's fine. Arsenal, go ahead. Look at this deck, Sam. Look at this deck. There's five. Popping my courage. Oh, never mind, we win. We got it, we got it. Shit! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we'll give you these. Okay. That's it. Oh yeah, that's totally it. Do you want, yeah, there you go. Draw cards for your measly defense, because here we go. Convulsions coming in. Cost me two, banishing three. If this hits, which it will, because there's no misses, yep. my next attack will gain plus one and dominate rather. And oh. once again, I'm shuffling because of a bad habit. <laughs> so let's just do it face up here. One, uh, reroll six. Okay, see, okay, see Michael Hamilton? See the problem with your method? This is three rerolls. That's more than if I just rolled it manually. <laughs> this is four rerolls more than if I did it manually. This is five rerolls. Hey! One, four, five. That gains plus one to dominate. These go face down. Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Not only a absolutely incredible name, incredible card. It's dominate in your blue pitch. So as you're burning through a deck with Blazafet Levi consumed, it's a card that hopefully, if you saw it early, ended up being your pitch card. And you can cognizantly like make those choices, right? Two blues in hand. Prefer pitching the convulsions. Finding a late game dominate, especially on the kind of turn cycle that I had. You pitch a blue for the convulsions. Have one floating. You pull a one cost, that, there's tons of them at this point in the game, one cost blood dead attack from your extra hand from Blazafet Levi consumed, that's a two card up to eight dominate. That is naturally pitching because it's a blue. Incredible way to close the game. That coupled by the fact you have reckless swing puts so much guaranteed closing power in your deck, it's unreal. Uh, now I shall trigger Blazafet. Just go a peekin in my chain zone here and find myself a one cost. What would you know? We're gonna close the game out with a cold foil extended arch promo Ooh, diabolic yeah, offering yeah, that comes yeah, in for wait. not only six, because I banished a six, but seven and dominate because of convulsions. Yeah, uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Seven dominate coming at you right now, Sam. No floating. I do have plays here, actually. No way, double soul shield? Bro, I bro, do have plays. bro. Well, it's got dominate. It has dominate. Oh wait. Yeah, so it can't be double soul shield. I, but I do have plays. I'm gonna block three. Yes. And then... You don't run Oasis. I have plays. Okay. I'm literally not lying. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> I'm gonna play Lumina Ascension as an instant. Oh! <laughs> oh no! I cannot! I'm gonna take six. One, wait, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take enough. Congratulations. <laughs> Lamaya has taken it home. You know what they say, Lumina go Dumina. <laughs> well, we did pivot. Unfortunately, we took the exit into Elville. Population, this guy. Great game, though, and I do not regret having played it. The feeling of defeat weighs heavy on my soul. From within, only gloom. I shall rise from this a better man. It's been great to have Ethan on the show. Okay. <laughs> it's your trophy. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's good. So I won. Shout out James White. You're a homie. Hooked me up. <laughs> so I won. Huge props to the new cards, though. These kind of game situations just never came up before Dust Till Dawn. They're so exciting to be able to plan for the flip with Blazafet Levi Consumed or Levi Redeemed. And it just adds such new depth to the hero that makes me want to play her for another two years, four years, six years. It's so much fun. Thank you for having me on the channel. Thank you for the wonderful trophy here. I'm gonna frame it if you let me keep it. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this was a great game, an incredible, honestly, showcase of all the various Leviathan mechanics, which is the main reason we wanted to put this video out. Getting to see Blasmafet in action. Went on a little win streak, you know, uh, last month, this month, took a couple L's, but that's just part of the highs and lows of high school football. The epic highs and lows of high school football. You ever watch Riverdale? Me neither, I saw it on Twitter. 
Everyone, she's a tough deck to play. Don't give up if you pick her up and aren't having wins. She's got the power, she's got the capabilities to make it to the top. She just takes a lot of reps and surprisingly a lot of uh, hot scabs rolls, hate to admit it. If you want to learn more about Leviah, you can find my channel, Mansant, on YouTube where I do a lot of streamed gameplay of Leviah. We're going to be on this journey together, so you can find me there. You can find the production half of what I do on Savage Feats, and you can find playmats like the one you saw, t-shirts like the one I'm wearing on Mansant.shop. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. You made it to the end of this fantastic fight night. That was an insane game with the six rolled the six. and the and the oh and the Bolton pop off turn, which did sort of get mitigated by the Bolton pop off turn. <laughs> the Bolton pop off turn. Hey Josh Lau, will you help me? I want to beat him, but I am him. As always, this video and the channel is brought to you by The Realm Games. They sponsor us and help us do all these cool things. And one of the best ways to support them and support yourself as a flesh and blood player is to go to their amazing, amazing events. Yes, everybody, there is an unbelievable tournament coming up in Columbus, Ohio in the first weekend of December. It is going to have a 20K invitational that you can win. 20K? 20, literally literally $20,000. And it's mine? No, if you win. Oh. Even if you're not in, in in the 20K, there's a $10,000 open tournament on the second day of the weekend, and there's a $5,000 open tournament on the third day of the weekend. There's going to be a cosplay competition, there are going to be vendors, there are going to be after parties. It's literally going to be ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense that people are willing to put these kind of events on. We'll be there too. Come hang out. Ethan, you've been to their events. What are their events like? Uh, loads of fun, and you hang with these kind of cool people. And this kind of person, cool yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> cool person. Cool person. <laughs> we have to give a a huge thanks to Ethan, Van Sand, Van Sand. And a congratulations. And a congratulations. Taking Sam down. He is now. Um, I've won a bunch and I've lost some. He's, he's won a bunch and lost some. You've won? When was, when was that? Like the Kano intro deck? Huh? No, like a couple weeks ago, mother. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the end of the video. Thanks again for watching these. Uh, your support on this channel means so much to us, and we'll keep these fight nights coming and more content coming soon. See you next time! Oh, we chill, drink a few pure skis and- oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh and blood! Flesh and blood!